How about this? Huawei P50 renders. Look at the camera on this beast. Okay, it's renders. It's expected to look like this. It's like it's smiling. It is. What are we doing? Look at that. Looks like me with the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, two of you. Yeah. Well, one of you smiling and one of you uh, mute. Yeah. Yeah. The perfect representation of me. It's that's that's all of you right there. Yeah. You're fully encompassed. It's crazy though, isn't it? With the the, it, it, I mean, it, I'm speechless. It. What is the extent to which we can have these camera cutouts? We saw what Xiaomi did with the screen and the camera cutout. It was huge. That's the only play for creativity nowadays, eh? Mm. Like you can only play with the camera hump and you like dropped a, a beauty design. a beauty Canadian A there. I did, yeah. That's the only thing you can do these days, eh? <laughs> With the twofer? <laughs> yeah, you're right, though. It, it, otherwise, you got another slab. Yeah. Slab after slab. Uh, granted, I've been looking at these gaming phones. I don't know if you caught the video since you've been on vacation. <laughs> I did, actually. Okay, so it, that one has the landscape camera motorized coming out the side. So that's a major differentiator. And it sticks the camera unit in the center of the device, mm. which is also very unique. So there are some unique plays, but you're right. Even this one, what makes it unique does center around how they decide to place the cameras. And in this case, it was motivated by the fact that it's a gaming phone and they also put a cooler in the back. This is strictly about photography. What's weird to me is that in this render, all the camera modules look identical or at least very similar which uh, I'm kind of skeptical of because why would... Right. Often when we see a multi-camera layout, each individual component is slightly different. Although, granted, it's just a render. So I'm sure that it could, could, should, would yeah. change. Actually, if you click over to the next tab, you'll see what there's the, uh, a similar render before the pro model, supposedly of the P50 from Huawei. And then this one, it looks to be roughly the same size, except instead of having four similar looking camera units, there's one enormous one and then two tiny ones. Right. I think if you scroll down, there's one more picture just to showcase how huge that is. That might take the cake for the biggest single camera unit. <laughs> Holy cow. We have how how far can this really go? Yeah, you know, like, will it? Can it? Can it? Can right it, up to the screen? Can it be the entire back of the phone? Can it? Will somebody eventually just do an interchangeable lens system? Will they need to? Mm. Is it going to be that liquid lens stuff? Yeah, I don't know. But uh, for now, these are expected to arrive soon. I don't know who's going to be interested because of obviously the complexity and getting your hands on Huawei products. Maybe we still can. I don't know. Yeah. It'd be I'd be curious, at least just from a hardware standpoint, to see what they're up to. Mm -hmm. <laughs>